is David with Armor Tech. Today we're going to do the installation of a UC585X. It'll be our extension doors that goes on the back half of a crew bike. First thing, you're going to open up your box and inside there there'll be a jam box and it'll have your jams and your hardware. You're going to have a bag 16 that'll have all your nut and bolt hardware. Bag 29 that'll have your hinges. Bag 10 that'll have your handles. And bag 61 that'll be your hardware mounting brackets. The tools needed for the job is going to be a Torx 40 or a T40, a 5 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, 7 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, 3 quarters, and a P3 Phillips screwdriver bit. You can also use it in your drill or impact, but make sure you use a P3. It'll fit your screw heads better. All right, one of the first things I like to do is pull the jam out, and we're going to install the hinge first. It makes it a little bit easier to get to the nuts and bolts. Your bag 29, you want to make sure you get the left-hand set of hinges for the left-hand side of the bike, which is the driver's side. And I always use the side of the hinge that has the hole that the pin will slide into. I'll mount that on the jam on this side to where that piece is down. Then you're ensuring that that door hangs on that actual hinge. You're going to place a quarter inch, five eighths long screw with a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. What you want to do before we put the jam up here, it's a little bit easier. You want to get the bracket to come with the X door. You're going to notice it has an X cut actually in the bracket. We're going to slide it right underneath these bolts here. And we're going to run them down, set it about midways of the slot. Just let it run down and touch, just to hold it in place till we get the jam over here. Then in this lower hinge, you're going to use the 5 8 long quarter inch screw again. Use it in the lower hole. Put your flat washer, lock washer, and a nut on. Just run it up with your finger. And this one right here that's on the top that's in line with the rest of these holes, you're going to use the 1 inch long that's in the bag with your powder coat and brackets. Put it in and get your flat washer, lock washer and nut started but leave it just barely started because the bracket that goes in here will also go on that bolt and you'll pull it all together later. All right, we're gonna take the jam that come with your X set of doors. On this particular setup, this jam is actually gonna to go to your B pillar, which is the jam for your front door. What you'll wanna do is get your Allen, uh, it's a number eight by 16 millimeter Allen head bolt with a flat washer and you'll start it in the hole right here and that'll help hold your jam in place while you get the rest of your bolt started. All right, we've got our jam hung, we've got a bracket in here, we've got this bolt in the slot of that bracket. Now you're going to take the one inch screws that was in the bag with your powder coat and they're going to go right here with a flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. Leave all this loose for the moment because we'll have to adjust it just a little bit later when we start adjusting our door. But run it up kind of finger tight for the moment. Then we're going to take our J bracket. You'll notice it's going to have these two notches on both sides of it. That's specifically for this bike. You're going to use a one inch quarter by one inch long screw, flat washer, and the lock nut. And this bolt you'll be found in bag 16. Usually they have them put together already. All right, now that we have the jam up here, we're going to just lightly snug everything. I usually try to get everything about midway. On this particular jam, it will be for the front door, which is a UC585 and to do the adjustments for your front door, go to the video 585 door installation for the front half of the door. We're going to actually focus on the back half today. Alright, this is the jam that come with the uh, 585, the regular front door set. And you're going to use this jam in the back location for your crew door. What we're going to do again is we're going to install the hinges here on the bench. It's a little bit easier to get to the nuts and bolts in my opinion. There you're going to use a quarter by five eighths long screw, flat washer, lock washer, and regular nut. These nuts and bolts are found in bag 16. You're going to use the left hand hinge again. Use the barrel on your jam. And then we'll put this bottom one on down here. Here again, 
We're gonna put the 5 8 long screw in the bottom hole, and then we're gonna use the one inch long ones in your powder coat bag for the hole right here. All right, we're gonna use this bracket right here that's in your powder coat bag with the front set of doors. Um, remember, the jam follows to the rear, so all that part, uh, powder coat parts will follow with it. You're gonna slide that plate about halfway under, just lightly bump it down again, just to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. We'll take the jam that has the armor tech cut in it, makes it easy to figure out which one's which. It's gonna go up, and here again in your bag with your 585 front door, you're gonna have this little plate with two weld nuts. It's gonna slide in between or in the back side of the slot pocket here. And you're gonna take the number eight, 16 millimeter Allen head screw or bolt with a flat washer. And you're gonna do that in both of these locations. All right, now that we got it hung, we got a bolt started down here that's in the hinge. It goes through that bracket that's behind here. Go ahead and put the one inch bolts into this with a flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. Typically, I like for that bracket to be sitting away from the skin of this. So when you pull it together, it'll kind of pull your jam in nice and tight. So make sure that bracket is away from your actual surface, at least about 3 sixteenths of an inch. And that'll just allow it when you tighten these down, or you snug that down first and tighten these down, it'll pull your jam in nice and tight to the machine. We're going to take this J bracket that has the double notches on both sides again. We're going to use the quarter by one inch screw that's in your bag 16. It'll have a flat washer and a lock nut. To install our door handle, it's going to be a bag 10. There's going to be a 6 millimeter by 25 millimeter bolt with a 6 millimeter nut. And what this is, it'll go in your handle right where your, um, I call it the peg extender. You'll need to put that in about a quarter of an inch. And then you'll want to check to make sure that this right here will hit your pad and release it. That's what this is going to do. I'm going to back it out just a little bit. You're going to take a 10 millimeter wrench. And you're going to snug down that jam nut. And then you're going to take three of the six millimeter by 25 bolts and go ahead and bolt your handle in. All right, now we're going to take our hinge and we're going to mount it on our door. I always try to mount everything about midways. You're going to use a quarter by five eighths long screw flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. And you go ahead and get those started. All right, in our powder coat bag, there's gonna be the striker bolt bracket. First thing you'll need to do is remove the bracket that holds your netting on the front here, because this is where it's gonna mount. Also, in your powder coat bag, there's gonna be another one of these uh, plates with two weld nuts on it. It'll have a little bit taller tab. This one's just a shorter one. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in here. We're using that number eight a 16 millimeter Allen head bolt again with a flat washer. Get that started. Then we're gonna take our striker bracket and slide it in the bottom half. And then go ahead and start your upper bolt. All right, now we have our door pre-assembled with our hinges and our handle already on it. You'll want to take your door and you'll want to pull it probably past 100 degrees or so from the door, but your slip hinges will slip back in it. Sometimes you got to hold your mouth just right. But there they are. What we're going to do is we're going to check the fit of our door around the perimeters, making sure we're landing good, make sure we're not binding on anything. This door's fitting pretty good like it is. You will notice on this particular door, this body line, like usual, would line up, but on this particular one, it does not line up perfectly with it due to this jam came from the front of the bike. By looking at the perimeter, 
This door can be adjusted forward or up and down by just the hinges alone. If for some reason you need a little bit more adjustment, there is some back here in the jam. Right now the jam is just slightly snug, just enough to hold the door. Everything looks good. I think I'll go ahead and snug my jam down and go ahead and snug my hinges and then we'll adjust our lats. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust our striker bracket. Right now we just have it all loose. What we want to do is make sure our striker bolt centers up with the two paws here in our rotary latch. And by doing that, you see with it being loose, we can adjust it about anywhere. Let's take it right about there to start with. Here again, just lightly snug your bolts up. You know, snug enough where it's not going to move around, but don't get crazy tight because you might still move it some more. You want to be sure that your paw lands in the center of your striker bolt. The washers here can be adjusted both ways, as well as the bracket. Sometimes they can get bent and shipping a little bit. Um, you can flex that back and forth just a little bit if you need to. Won't hurt anything. That looks pretty close right there. There's a single click. Let's lightly snug that up. Right. Now we're going to adjust the striker bolt in or out. And what you want to do is get a good seal on your door. And you can see right now I've got a single click. It looks pretty good. We're going to lightly snug that up. Alright. We got a double click. You can see the paws are almost all the way together. That's good. We got a good seal all the way around on our door. It's always good to clamp this down tight, let it sit overnight. It allows all your gaskets to seat in a little bit. You can kind of make some final adjustments. Also, in this bracket right here that holds our rotary latch, these holes are slotted in case you need to move it forward or back for some additional adjustment. Tighten her down. Alright, looks like everything looks good. Go out and enjoy your doors on your next ride.